Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, the video of today will be a very exciting video because uh, we will make our first cut on the wood. Okay, so what we will see today is um, uh, how outline the drawing before uh, uh, start carrying the project uh, and defining uh, its shapes and also the detail. So the thing that uh, we will see today will be first thing uh, is uh, the tool. Okay. So how we must handle the tool? Uh, in which direction we have to cut uh, to have uh, a clean cut? And also the first uh, thing that will be uh, lowering the ground, okay? Because uh, uh, our drawing uh, is uh, a flower in 3D, uh, three dimension, okay? So the flower right now is uh, in a block of wood. So the first thing is uh, outline the drawing and lowering the ground, keeping the flower raised up, okay? Let's go. Okay guys, so just few things uh, before start. Uh, this is a piece of uh, scrap wood and uh, here I would mm, like to show you uh, two things that uh, are uh, basic things that uh, you need to know uh, before start carving. Okay, so first of all uh, this is a, a carving gouge. Okay? She is uh, made of steel, very high quality steel, and uh, you will use this tool to cut the wood. As you can see, uh, there are different tools uh, with, uh, just want to show you, with different shapes. Okay, this one is a V shaped gouge, and uh, this one is a uh, around the gouge okay so I will show you better the shape of this gouge okay because you can okay you see that this gouge has this profile okay and uh, for example this gouge has a V okay and also other gouges okay make a different type of cure okay so how to handle the tool okay the first the left hand go over the blade and the right hand over the handle okay why the left hand push against the gouge the right and push through the for push forward the gouge okay so if you just use the right hand while cutting see that you don't have any control over the cut okay just cut and then the tool slip away if you place your left hand on the blade just see that uh, you have much more control over the cat okay so the other things that you have to know is uh, I will change uh, the gouge I take around one is every time you cut uh, the wood you have to cut it uh, uh, along the grain not against the grain what does it mean? This means that if you cut the wood here, you see that, uh, let me show you better, okay? You see that uh, there are some uh, the wood tear out and uh, it broke, okay? With the uh, uh, not clear cut okay let me show you 
on the other side okay if you cut this piece of wood from left to right and you will see a much more clear cut let me take okay. it I think that you remember if you have seen my previous video the flower we first draw onto the wood and after attached with a sandwich paper method on a bigger base okay so what we have to do first is lower the ground okay so this means that we should remove all these parts okay and uh, it's better especially if uh, you are working on your first carving uh, always uh, mark uh, uh, the um, area of the wood that uh, you have to remove okay the line the drawing okay and uh, we will do this operation with a v-shaped gouge okay so let's start left hand on the blade right hand on the handle okay and also another thing uh, maybe before start never go over the line but uh, start cutting uh, maybe two millimeters away from the line okay like in this way okay, okay. and in this way you will make a uh, a sort of uh, let me show you in here okay you will uh, remove the the wood keeping safe the drawing and allowing after removing the wood you have to remove more safely for your piece okay so just start if you can never go in this direction so the blade against the drawing but always try to start from the drawing and go away just if uh, the gauge will cut and uh, slip off uh, it will preserve your drawing okay okay do you see that uh, uh, when uh, I go around the design I never turn the design uh, for carving always with the same position okay the most things uh, mm, the most important thing that uh, and also the most difficult thing that uh, you have to master is to cut uh, with both hands okay so you should be able to cut in this way left uh, hand on the blade and right hand on the handle or also right hand on the handle on the blade and the left handle on hand on the handle okay so because uh, in this way you don't have to turn always your piece okay and uh, this uh, uh, will make you faster So now the drawing is uh, uh, outlined and also want to show you. Now uh, we are using uh, lime wood, so it's a um, soft wood, so you don't need to apply so much strength to, uh, to cut the wood. But if you use um, other type of woods uh, that are much more harder, maybe you will need to use a mallet okay this is a round carving mallet okay and you should use it in this way let me show you 
Okay. So for example, you have to make this more deeper. Okay. I'm not sure you have seen. Okay. Let me show this one. With the mallet uh, you are able to apply much more uh, strength to the uh, to the cut. Okay, so what we have to do now is to take another gouge, maybe a uh, carved one. Okay. Okay, one, uh, you remove the uh, some wood. Also, you can try again, or maybe you have to outline again the the drawing. So one thing okay. that is very very important when you are working with wood is every time your safety. Okay, so never never even if uh, you are working on small detail or some uh, for some other reason never try to hold your piece while carving okay because uh, if uh, the blade slip off uh, will all for sure go into your finger okay and it's happened okay so always uh, when you carve place your hand behind the blade Okay, never, never uh, in front. Okay, proprio perché è una cosa importante, la ripeterò anche in italiano. Quando lavorate con legno, uh, la prima cosa importante è la sicurezza. Quindi, quando state lavorando su un pezzo, magari state lavorando su qualche dettaglio, assolutamente non cercate mai di eh, lavorare in questo modo cioè con la mano in linea alla lama perché sicuramente prima o poi la lama scapperà e si infilerà nel vostro dito ok quindi mi raccomando sempre la mano dietro la lama mai davanti ok so switch again in english ok and we will continue to outline the drawing okay. uh, the depth of the ground must depend on how much uh, levels your uh, uh, your carving uh, project has okay for example in this flower the most high point should be this one this one this one okay it's just a, a circle okay after the flower will go down until I reach the center and also go down from that side uh, to the uh, point of the leaves okay so we have uh, almost uh, uh, three levels one two and three I think that uh, this is the lowest point okay so you have to calculate uh, and also maybe uh, I don't have a specific rule for this but uh, you must use uh, uh, your imagination to try and imagine 
how much wood you need to uh, obtain a, a good shape of the subject that you are carving. Okay. When you are uh, roughing out the and lowering the ground, uh, it doesn't matter if you uh, cut along or across the grain because after you will um, you will uh, use uh, other gauges to uh, plane the ground. So in in this moment you will have to care about the grain of the wood okay we are just roughing out the piece so. <laughs> and also this one because it removes much more wood see that uh, if you have a good tool it will cut uh, the wood uh, has a button. Okay, so now maybe we have uh, to clean the edges of the drawing okay so first uh, we will take a, a much more uh, straight uh, another advice that I can give you is when you uh, cut uh, in this way okay uh, never uh, try to uh, keep the blade perpendicular to the side of the object okay otherwise uh, you will go under the drawing instead of parallel to the to the drawing okay so we just okay, clean a little bit okay. so you see that uh, here I'm against the grain Okay, so when you are in this situation, okay, maybe the best thing you can do is uh, to go uh, to uh, make some cuts uh, cross grain, okay, by slicing the tool, okay. This will leave a much more clean cut even if you are not cutting along the grain. cut before on uh, on side so limit uh, the part of the wood that you want to remove and then remove it okay so say the part you want to remove and remove okay so again say that you want to limit the cat here and then remove it okay, I think that uh, we are almost done okay. because we have lowered the ground of the flower and 
we are maybe still some little work is needed but uh, we are near to start and shape our flower okay so this is the flower lowered okay you see that uh, we oh, where is the pencil we have uh, uh, a lower ground but uh, I think that this part will be removed and uh, our flower that uh, is uh, coming out from the wood okay so guys uh, hope uh, that uh, you liked what uh, we have seen today and um, thank you for watching and also thank you for subscribing cheers bye